Hello? Hey everyone. Hi there. Hello. Shirts. We yeah. got them. We, yeah. we got shirts. <laughs> Gentlemen, I, 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 made, I made a logo just for this shirt. Just so we can streamline the enjoyment for you. That's what we're all about. Enjoyment. Make sure you subscribe for more afternoon after school. Starring your boys at the Pace period at with Mr. Parati and also the TV Video Media Club. Andrew, go say anything. If you don't subscribe, you won't get them up like I did. <laughs> nice, Kyle. <laughs> Your rebuttal. Uh, muffin not included. <laughs> Thank you. Also, their shirts are nice and orange. We got shirts. If you love the color orange, then you'll definitely love these shirts. Agreed. If you want a shirt, they're ten dollars. I'm not sure if you can purchase them, but they're ten dollars. <laughs> We're wearing shirts. We should have a merch store. That'd be a good idea. Outside marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Sell DVDs and shirts. Hey, we, <laughs> people, we could do that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some more episodes. We're we're making some a bunch of them right now, actually. And this is actually, believe it or not, you're watching an episode right now. Yes. Yeah, production <laughs> day. AKA yeah. okay, total mayhem. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for what's next. We got a PDO interview. That'd be really awkward if they didn't show up. But that's what we got next. And when PTO, Kyle. And then we got some interview with the people behind the spectrum. So I hope you'll enjoy today's episode. Peace. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, my name is Caden Lisa, and my co-host today is... Kyle Silva! <laughs> and this is his first time gonna be in the set. We got a two, count them, one, two, very special guests for you. And they come from the PTO. Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Andrea Moniz, and I am the president of the Dartmouth High School PTO. I'm Sarah Lamont, I'm the treasurer of the PTO. We have a couple questions for you. Kyle is gonna start with our first question on our camera. Right. So what is the PTO about? So the PTO actually stands for Parent Teacher Organization. So it really is just all of the parents of all of the students trying to get together um, to help for the good of the students here at the high school. And we do that in conjunction with the teachers and the administration here through various things that we do throughout the year. Nice. What are the main tasks in the PTO? So the PTO is responsible for several things. One is the mini grants program. And the mini grants program is the ability for, for teachers and students, clubs, organizations to set out and write for a, a small grant that would help fund different types of organizations. PTO is also responsible for um, scholarships for the seniors, Reality Day, um, which a lot of the students partake in, as well as other types of uh, different types of activities like real, uh, teacher appreciation day, mm. et cetera. Nice, nice. Um, why is helping the school important to you? Because it helps all of our kids. Helping the school really just improves the overall culture, climate, environment, and then learning experiences for all of you. And so that's important to us as parents because we have kids here. And so 
we want to make sure that all of those things are productive yeah. for them and like, help to make them better students. Like it's a good environment and stuff, yeah. you could say. Yeah. And there, there are also things that, you know, the budget that the school committee provides to the, to the different schools mm. can only cover so much, and yeah. there needs to be supplemental income that comes in to be able to have some of those enrichment programs that you all enjoy, mm. like, you know, this type of like, activity like or... This. Yeah. <laughs> after, 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 after school, after school. season two. That's My funny. next question for you two is, why specifically do you want to help the school? Each of you. I just like to help out, and I, I sometimes, um, you know, see things that I think that are a need, and you know, some of those things have to do with like helping students have programs and things that they need for their classroom settings, mm. and so. Just always like to be that person that tries to help out the kids that we have. How about you? Education is more than just what's in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a huge part of it, but there's more that happens um, when you're interacting in clubs and organizations, and having that outlet to be able to get, give the students that different side of education mm -hmm. is important, as well as rewarding those students who excel and we're able to fund their further education is important. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, how did you get into doing the PTO? Both of you can answer Like, this. what's that process like? So there's um, a way that Mr. T. Bo usually gets all of the information out to parents via email and says that there's going to be a meeting, and any parents willing you know, that's able and willing to come, shows up. And so about midway through the school year last year, they had the first meeting, and so I, I came to see what was mm -hmm. going on and what, what it was about and how I could get involved, and here I am. Nice. <laughs> and, again, this is part of the parent and teacher organization, so mm. teachers are welcome to attend any of the, the meetings. Myself, I was originally uh, part of the band um, officers, you know, for the DSMA, yeah. and they needed a treasurer for the PTO. I was an outgoing treasurer, and so I ended up working with the incoming uh, administration, and we ended up uh, cool. creating that role, so that's how I got involved. What do, you, what do you like about the PTO, both of you? Well, I like that it's a collaboration, because I think that you, you really need a village, like it takes a village to get everything done that we need to get done for the students that we have in our community. And so we need to join as parents with the teachers and administration to be a cohesive team. Mm -hmm. And th that, I think, is the best part of you know the fact that we meet together as a group. To make sure like the students succeed and stuff. Yeah. It's that safety net for yeah. the, for the you know, school, town you know, aspect of education. It's to be able to pick up those pieces that you just can't get through other sources of funding or, mm. or activities. Nice. Um, so what experience do you get out of the PTO? Well, I like giving back, and so that's part of the reason why I um, joined the PTO to begin with. But then I like seeing, like, both of you and getting to meet you today and seeing the, the different things that you're involved with that I probably wouldn't have had an opportunity to meet before. And so uh, I, I got to meet a really nice lady over the weekend who, you know, funded some of the bags that we're selling to raise money for the uh, mini grants and the scholarships this year. And she's such a nice woman. And just being able to have those experiences are so enriching that it really um, is, it, it, it's exciting to be able to do such things. I, I just enjoy volunteering in general. I think it's important that anybody who is in business gives back to the community and are able to provide you know, their skill sets to other organizations that don't have a paid staff. And so for me, um, I think volunteering is you know, really important. Knowing that there is an end product that ends up coming out of that, you know, know, seeing what happens like, you know, in the studio and understanding that part of that funding that we were able to provide you with ended up 
you know, creating a product that's a very fulfilling and satisfying. And that happens when it be at the fishing club or engineering or any of those organizations. TV video. <laughs> TV video. <laughs> um, you know, also getting those, the, the thank you letters from those students that receive the scholarship. It's really rewarding to understand that those people are going to move forward and make a positive change in, in their world and to see how are they going to pay it forward. So, you know, that I think it's important. That's really, that's really wholesome. Nice. That's really nice. You say nice after everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Hey, it's your first time. It's okay. Don't worry about it, but I'm not used what, to the camera. What do, you, ah. <laughs> what do you two think you can do specifically this year to improve the school? So um, we are doing a couple of fundraisers that are, are important to be able to get the funds that are needed to fulfill some of these projects. One is we're, uh, as you know, the town of Dartmouth went green um, as far as uh, plastic bags are concerned. Mm -hmm. And so we are selling recyclable bags that are, have the Dartmouth logo on there and that uh, will help to bring in like some the of the orange funds. bags? Uh, the, actually, I have it right here. Ooh, um, so yes. All this, pop. <laughs> there you go. Yay. So the Dartmouth recyclable bags, so you can go to the grocery stores and use that for, uh, for your shopping nice. endeavors. Uh, we also do direct solicitation. So anybody who is interested in donating to the PTO, they know that where their funds will go for yeah. enriching the, the high school students. Uh, we also, uh, I'm drawing blank, what else? So we <laughs> have um, really two easy ways um, through Amazon, smileamazon.com. So the Dartmouth PTO is actually on there as one of the charitable organizations that Ooh. if you purchase things through smile.amazon, um, then you can then have some money be donated to the PTO directly. And then the other one is stop and shop. So just stop. by going good place. grocery stop shopping, shop. if you have your card and you sign up your card by calling either stop and shop uh, with the number on the back, or you could do it online with your online account. Um, and if you choose the Dartmouth High School as your organization, we also get money back. Mm -hmm. And they've been very generous with us with those donations from just going grocery shopping. Yeah. And then lastly, we also <clears throat> work with the local restaurants, just like many different clubs and organizations do, to have restaurant days. That brings business into the restaurants, but also brings back money a percentage back. into the organization. So with that, all of, once we get the, the budget and the funding associated with it, we're able to budget out what it is that we can do for the school and for the organization. We have our first round of mini grants that will be coming up in October mm. that we're looking to fund. Uh, if we are able to raise enough money, we'll do another funding in the spring time. Nice. Uh, as mentioned, we do the uh, teacher appreciation and staff appreciation lunch. In May. In May, uh, mm -hmm. Reality Day, we're uh, a part of that organization, as well as, you know, at the end of the year, we, we're doing the scholarships. Last year, we were able to do four uh, scholarships. We'd like to at least maintain that. If not, you know, add some additional scholarships this year. In your opinion, what is the best thing to happen to the school? It, like, both of you. The best thing to happen to mm. the school? Um, you know... I think that there's a lot of really excellent things that are going on in the school. I mean, um, you know, one would look to the achievements of the band, uh, look at the achievements of our sporting mm -hmm. groups, uh, and appreciate that that's, those are two things that Dartmouth is very well known for. Clearly, um, excellence in education is, is an important part. Uh, the students and the teachers that are here really care about their education. Mm. And I think that those are all um, very much a, a part of the Dartmouth culture. And it's, it's nice to be able to be a part of that. I don't know. We live in a society, truly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dartmouth culture. Uh, we, now, I'm going to say this to every person as the very last question we do. What is both your favorite color? Dartmouth green. <laughs> you can see it right back there. You can see it right back there. The Dartmouth green. green. How about you? My favorite color is blue, but Me I bleed too. green. <laughs> High five. Blue is the best color. But uh, yeah, this is this is this has been yeah blue. This has been afternoon after school with this specific segment. 
Thanks, Kyle, for being my host today, my co-host. Congratulations on your first show. Yeah. Over as the host, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and thank both of you so much for coming on the show. Oh, well, thanks for time. having us, and thank you for putting this on so that you know uh, the word of the PTO can get up. Yeah. We appreciate it. I mean, thanks for showing up. <laughs> That's uh, this is gonna be all we have for this specific segment. We're gonna have another segment right afterwards, as we usually do. That's all. Yeah. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Caden Lisa, and you're watching a segment where we got all these wonderful people, name by name. Uh, I'm Diogo Fernandez Tavares, I'm the assistant editor of the Dartmouth High School Spectrum. Hi, I'm Molly Rio, I am the co-editor of the Spectrum. And I'm Jonathan Beckdine, the other co-editor of the Spectrum. As you now have been fully made aware, I've got some three very prominent creators of the Spectrum community. And I'm here to ask them a few questions today, starting with, what articles have you written? Uh, last week, we, just, <coughs> we had an article about Triple E, Molly wrote that, and I had an article about uh, the new stadium. John, you had... Mm -hmm. It's the beginning of a new school year, so uh, every year we write about what's new, what happened over the summer. There's a lot of new teachers, so we wrote three or four uh, new teacher profiles, uh, new library policies, stuff like that. We cover it all. Nice. What uh, articles do you have planned so far, guys? Um, what articles do we have planned? Oh, we're working on some playlists for students to listen to. Ooh. And, and we'll whenever we post those, those are available at dhsspectrum.com, our official website. <laughs> That's uh, where you can find all this great content that you guys are posting now. Yeah. Absolutely. We're also, um, <laughs> <laughs> we're also have another article about uh, the Chromebooks. Mm -hmm. That's going to be written by our lovely William Fang. Mm -hmm. William Fang, yeah. our official tech correspondent. And one about, uh, was this Lexus writing about? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll be completely I, honest. I got another question for you guys, yeah, since you stumbled a little bit there. Uh, what do you guys do outside of school? I'm in the band, um, so I practice, perform, compete um, with the marching band. I can relate. <laughs> Caden can relate. You can relate. Uh, yeah, I am the secretary of my class, um, and I also play field hockey, track, and lacrosse. Uh, I do theater. That's nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the ghost of Christmas present. Ooh, play this year, ooh. So. that's cool. Looking forward to it. Uh, how does one student join the Spectrum team? Um, well, if you're interested, um, any student uh, of any grade, any whatever, can talk to Mr. Higgins um, C33. in C33 or look us up, dhsspectrum.com, our official website. Uh, there's information on there. It should be right back there. <laughs> but sure. most of us got our start with the journalism elective, which is also, coincidentally, taught by Mr. Higgins. Yeah, so I took both journalism courses my freshman year, and I fell in love with writing, more specifically the journalism aspect of it. And um, that allowed me to really look into um, journalism and um, how unique the style of writing is. And then um, we lost a lot of seniors last year. So um, I had the opportunity to join the Spectrum and really get involved with it this year. That's nice to hear. What about you, Diogo? Uh, I was in Journalism 1 freshman year. Then I took it Journalism 2 uh, junior year. And i always been a part of it. but. I stepped up my game this year. Mm -hmm. so I'm the assistant editor, so. Nice. And you're not going to believe this, but I also took Journalism 1 my freshman year. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and I have been involved with the Spectrum ever since. Nice. There's also people in uh, the Spectrum that never took Journalism, mm -hmm. and they're glad to be a part of it. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. photographers, cartoonists, so even if you're not really into the news writing or our columns, um, we have other parts of the paper that um, will need help. Absolutely. If you have anything to like, if you have anything you want to elaborate about the school, yeah. just come to us. We'll help you write it down, and we'll establish it on our yeah. website. We accept <laughs> like student opinions as well as um, comics, photographs, um, as 
anything to uh, theatrics, to um, athletics, we'll take it. And ban. Ban. And ban. We'll and take the ban. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I have a very important question for you guys. Each of you, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color is green. Green's Navy, good. Navy blue. Uh, I'm going with purple. Ooh, that's a good one. I, Never seen you wear purple. I wore purple this morning. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> now, what does the spectrum mean to you guys? I think it's a voice for the students here. It's a really good way to have communications with the people in our community. Mm -hmm. It really establishes how we feel and how we want to like, improve the school in a way. Yeah, definitely going to go with Diogo on that. And also, um, it allows us to really have our, like he said, our own voice. And we get to express how we truly feel about the school. And we don't have much barriers as it goes for what we can and cannot publish. So we're able to yeah, express how we feel, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. The Spectrum is um, my main creative output. Um, I get to write, um, discuss ways to better the club, um, and to help get information out to the school. I really enjoy that aspect of it. Yeah, and there's so many ways through the Spectrum that you can express yourself. Um, it, you get a lot of leeway with what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You can see some great examples of that on DHSSpectrum.com, our official website. <laughs> And also follow our Instagram page, dhs.spectrum. Yes, dhs.spectrum. You'll find us with the big S has our, has our profile pic. Absolutely. Now, in your opinion, guys, what do you think the spectrum means to the entire Dartmouth community? Um, what does it mean to the whole Dartmouth community? I don't know. I think the students, I hope the students appreciate it um, because we're the main student voice. Um, yeah. I think a lot of what is told about the school is told from the administrative point of view and from teachers. They don't really hear what students have to say. So I think that's really important to the students um, or us representing the students that we have that voice that we're able to explain for ourselves. How about you, Diogo? Uh, I think it's the most reliable news out here in Dartmouth. So it gives you real hard facts of That's what's happening around here. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're in the building all day. We know what's going on. Mm -hmm. and, um, First hand. Yeah. We, First hand. We always talk about what's happening. It wasn't in the school. We're always informed. Mm -hmm. We always talk to each other about it. So yeah. our, our main motive is giving the information out to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we post updates on our Twitter page, which we also have, DHS Spectrum. <laughs> So that is all. That is all I have, guys. Thank we also have a website. Questions. We have a website. In case you haven't seen it, <laughs> we, are, we are sitting in front of the website. Thank we you guys so much for coming. Thank on. you for having us. Thank you for having us, Kaden. It's been a real Thank honor. You.